Well, although we're seeing the wet weather over the past few days around the Bay Area, of course, the statewide drought still a major concern for residents. And joining us this morning is Assistant General Manager for Water at the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, Steve Ritchie. And Steve, thanks for joining us this morning. You bet, Marty. Uh, San Francisco gets its water from Hetch Hetchy. Give us an update on, on the water supply at Hetch Hetchy. Sure. We get about 85% of our water from Hetch Hetchy Reservoir mm -hmm. and all of the drainage that flows into it. Right. So we usually count on also a lot of snowpack. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is, you know, there has been no snow for the last year, 15 months or so. So we're just now finally starting to get some snow up there. Yeah. Uh, our reservoir is about half full, mm -hmm. uh, but been coming down. Uh, we always count on flow into it. Uh, we have not had any flow into it this year. We're just starting to get some with this storm. We had about five inches of precipitation up there year to date until this storm, and all that just soaked into the ground. So this storm has probably given us another five inches, so we're just starting to see some runoff and just starting to see some snowpack. So so it's a bright spot, but this is a long way from being out of the drought. Yeah, and that, I think that's the word that most people are saying, most water experts are saying right now, that it's nice that we have the rain, but don't get too excited. That that's we still, right. We still have a long way to go. So are you talking about are you talking about planning uh, any contingency plans, mandatory water rationing, anything like this for San Francisco? Yeah, we've called for 10% voluntary conservation. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we want to start. You know, every time we do that, people do respond pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have different ways that people can conserve that we suggest. Uh, uh, we've got here uh, low flow shower heads, uh, faucet aerators, both for the home and the sink mm -hmm. uh, or the kitchen, uh, and also a uh, nozzle for put on your hose. Anything Great idea. It just reduces how much water you use. Right. And also we have a website, uh, sfwater.org slash conservation, mm -hmm. where we have uh, actually a home water conservation checklist. You can actually go and check and see, gee, what can I do in my home to actually conserve water? So we think that 10% that voluntary is a good start. If after this storm, we don't get much else, mm -hmm. we could have to go to mandatory. That's a possibility, uh, but we're, we're hopeful for the outlook. But we still need a lot of water up there to even back away from the 10% voluntary. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about just the, the water transport system because it's a long way from Hetch Hetchy to San Francisco and there's been talk in the past about the uh, the, the pipes that and that deliver the water and the condition of that is the transportation system of the water from there to here in good shape uh, yes it is we've been in the midst of a 4.6 billion dollar program the mm -hmm. water system improvement program to improve the reliability of that transport system to make sure that we can deliver water 24 7 just yeah. like people expect it to come out of their taps right uh, we're about 80 percent of the way through that program, it's incrementally gotten better and better and better. Uh, so the delivery system's in good shape. The thing that's just not in good shape is the amount of water is in our reservoirs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, San Francisco has always been known for the quality, the high quality of the water that comes from the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Does the drought, or what impact does the drought have on water quality, if at all? Uh, it doesn't really have an impact on water quality. Mm -hmm. uh, it does maybe in our local reservoirs where they get particularly shallow, and you may see some algae start to grow. But, but for the Hetch Hetchy supply, where it's basically snow melt running mm -hmm. off of granite, uh, all the water that comes in is generally of very high quality. Let's go back to rationing just for a second, because I would guess that you walk a fine line in, in not wanting to let people know how important the, the emergency is, but at the same time, you don't want to cry wolf too often. That's, because that's because exactly then people tune right. you out. Yeah, the last time we declared uh, voluntary conservation was in 2007. The announcement was made on a day where it was actually raining. So <laughs> there's this odd correlation. There's a disconnect there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we don't want to cry, cry wolf. We do want people to consistently use very little water. And San Franciscans do a good job already. Mm -hmm. uh, the residential per capita use is about 50 gallons per capita per day. That's lower than anybody else is around really? the state. Yeah, uh -huh. it's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's always more you can do. Sure. There's no question about that. All right. Well, we want to turn to uh, to our Facebook page, and, and people have been have been posing questions to ask you. So we have a question from uh, Angela Starshadow, who wants to know, how much rain do we need to get out of this drought? Well, to get out of the drought, mm -hmm. we need an awful lot. Uh, we've estimated that, as I said, we have, we've had five inches so far. Yeah. Uh, we might get five inches from this storm. We would need on top of that another 12 inches, another foot or so of precipitation, which translates to about 10 feet of snow, mm -hmm. uh, to actually fill our reservoirs. But that would still leave no snowpack there. 
So to be out of the drought, we'd probably need another five to 10 inches on top of that. We would need a lot of water, an incredible amount of water to get out of this drought. We're just hopeful to have a, a good base in our reservoirs going into next year and hopefully next winter will be a good one. Yeah, okay, Steve Ritchie, thank you so much for joining us. You bet. All right, and we will be right back.